In this video, we will talk about how we can copy report from one workspace to another workspace in Power BI service. <laughs> so now let's get started. First of all, let me talk about the business scenario where I have three reports to my workspace and I want to copy those workspace report to my new workspace that is learn to all blocks. So now how can I do a copy of the report in Power BI service? Let's say I want to make a copy of this particular report. So go to the actions column and you can see save a copy option over here. Now let me just talk about the permissions to view this save a copy option. So first of all, make sure that your app workspace is created with the new app works experience. So if you revert to classes and classic and create your app workspace so at that time this option will not available for the users but uh, if you create the app workspace with the new experience this option will definitely uh, available for the user now one more thing that go to the, your data set and check the permissions for an example this is the user and if the user has build access only at that time uh, user will able to view this option otherwise uh, if the option of uh, remove build uh, the build access has been removed then at that time this option will not be shown to the user so make sure that you have both of these uh, options available for your user only at that time this copy option copy workspace would be available for you just click on save a copy option you can see this pop up over here now you can change the name of your report from here so let's say i want to make the report as decomposition tree one and select a workspace so uh, just to uh, make a clarity on this uh, this experience would only be available if you have created a workspace using the new experience so in power bi we can have uh, work two type of workspace old with the old experience and new experience if you have created your app workspace with the new experience only at that time this option will be available for you and uh, if you have the proper build permission on your report only at that time this option would be available for you otherwise this option will not be showing to you all right so i want to make a copy to this particular one workspace so I am just clicking on this and click on save button so you can see here successfully saved a copy of decomposition tree so now when you click on this go to report you can see here the workspace has been changed so this is my workspace learn to all block and you can see here the created copied report now here one more thing like whenever you copy the report using save a copy option it will not copy the entire data set it will just create an entry uh, in the list of the data set if the report is based on the data set outside of the workspace so i have make a copy of the report from my workspace to this learn to all blocks so original report and data set would be appeared in the my workspace but here only that uh, it is it has not copied that entire data set over here it just make an entry in the list so you can see the difference in the data set as well you can see here the icon of the data set will looking like this like you can see the pin icon in just the data set and if we just go to the my workspace and click the data Data set you can see here the data set icon would be look like this this means that we can easily understand that this data set is reside outside of that workspace all right now uh, there is a question in your mind as well like what if i delete the data uh, this particular report what will be happen with this particular data set so whenever you delete this report this report will be deleting from this copied workspace and you can see here in the data set you can see here the data set at this moment now but when you hit the refresh uh, on our page uh, this data set will be disappear from here all right uh, so hope this is clear for you now that how we can easily copy the workspace report from one workspace to another. If you have any question related to this topic, you can directly email me to dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can directly WhatsApp me on plus 919537981467. Stay connected with me on all social media platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. If you are for the first time to my channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me for the amazing videos have a great day goodbye